Welcome to Burkittsville, ma'am. Uh, I'd like a room, please. Certainly. Will your husband be joining you? I'm not married. I see. So you're uh, traveling alone, then? I am. Is there a problem? Oh, well, certainly not, ma'am. No, no problem at all. We just don't get many visitors through here, that's all. Except for the reporters, of course. The last of them finally cleared out this morning. Good riddance, I say. So what did happen then, exactly? God only knows what the papers outside of town are saying. I'm sure they're having a field day with it. Not that the story isn't terrific enough as it is. Our local paper, the Register, will give you the best account. You should see about picking up a copy. Here's your key. I've put you in room four. How long do you think you'll be staying with us? Um, a few days, I imagine. Field Notes of Dr. Elspeth Holliday, Burkittsville, Maryland, July 21st, 1941. I've only been here half an hour, and already the small-town attitude is getting on my nerves. The manager at Burkittsville's only inn just stood there waiting for my husband to show up. Guess he's never seen a woman traveling alone. I'll see the sheriff next, play up my cover story, and maybe aim for a little pity. The helpless woman routine should go over easily in this town. I hate to pry, but uh, what brings you to the town of Burkittsville, anyway? Actually, I'm here on rather grim business. I have a sister who lives in Martinsburg. A few months ago, her daughter disappeared. Oh, my. That, that's just awful, ma'am. You don't think Ruston Pa? After three months, we're desperate to find any clue. So what do you know about Pa? Not much. Pa was a hermit. He only came into town when he had to. No one really knew old Ruston. You should take it up with the sheriff. He knows details most of us would never even want to hear. And where can I find him? His office is in Town Hall, in the middle of town. Can't miss it. Closed. I'll have to come back tomorrow. I suppose I should head over to the diner, get something to eat. Maybe I can pick up some local gossip. Mm. This must be where pies go when they die. Hi, honey. My name's Gretchen. What can I get for you today? I'll just have the blue plate special. Thank you. I'm Peter Durant. Uh, Gretchen here owns this place, and she's the best darn cook in the county. Oh, Peter, stop. You're new in town, aren't you? No, I'm just visiting. My name's Elspeth Holliday. It's nice to meet you. Uh, what brings you to Burkittsville? You're not another reporter, I hope. Oh, no. Um... My sister's daughter disappeared a few months ago in Martinsburg. Oh, no, honey. That's just awful. Terrible. You don't think Ruston Parr had anything to do with it, do you? I certainly hope not. But it is possible. I'm in town to talk to the sheriff who investigated the case. The sheriff's name is Damon Bowers. Town Hall is down the street on the other side of the church. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Durant... If you don't mind my asking, what is your occupation? Not rude at all. 
I'm a librarian and head of the Burkittsville Historical Society. An historian? Ah, any areas of expertise? Well, just the history of Burkittsville. I guess you could call me an authority. I've been studying it all my life. Oh, interesting. Oh, it really is. We have quite a colorful history here. These uh, recent events have brought to light one of our oldest legends, stories about the Blair Witch. I've heard a few of the stories, but I don't really believe in that sort of thing. I do. I witnessed it myself. When I was a kid, a girl I knew named Robin Weaver disappeared in the woods. What happened to her? She eventually made her way back to town. And? Oh, it wasn't what happened to her that scared me. Heck, it still scares me now. This might sound silly, but uh, I'd rather not tell the story at night. If you are interested in our history, come by the library tomorrow. We have plenty of written documentation. And if you pry, I may tell you my account of the Robin Weaver story. I might take you up on that offer. Uh, now, you said this girl, Robin Weaver, came out all right? What happened while she was gone? You should ask her. She still lives here. Careful, though. She's a little peculiar. Gretchen. It's true, Peter. That may be, but uh, Miss Holiday, Robin Weaver's always been a bit eccentric, even when she was a child. She keeps to herself most of the time now and would probably prefer being left alone. You know, you should stop by the newspaper office. The editor's name is Horace Gersten. He's been there a long time. He could tell you a lot of stories. It's pretty late now, but with the madness of the trial and all, he's been keeping some late hours. I bet he's still there. Where is the newspaper office? It's up the road a ways, right across the street from the library. Keep Horace in mind if you need any information that you can't get from Peter. As for Parr specifically, try talking to people who knew the victims. Anyone that knows Kyle Brody might help. Kyle's the boy that escaped from Rustin Parr. Word is he was forced to face the corner and listen as Parr did horrible things to those children. Can you imagine? He hasn't spoken a single word since he got back. But his teacher at the school is close to all the children of Burkittsville. Maybe she can help you. Oh, honey, I've been talking your ear off. Your dinner's getting cold. You go on and eat now. I've just met the town's librarian, Peter Durant, who promises to have a lot of information about local legends and mythology. So I'll visit the library tomorrow. Burkittsville residents are no strangers to the Blair Witch legends. Interesting that no one seems to have any first-hand experience with a witch, but nearly everyone claims to know someone who has, or know someone who knows someone. Oh! <laughs> Snuck up on me, huh? What can I do you for? Sorry, I didn't mean to surprise you. My name is Elspeth Holliday. Gretchen, uh, at the diner, told me I should speak to a Horace Gersten. Yep, that's me. You a reporter? If so, you've already met the best source of news in town. That Gretchen's faster than the AP wire. You're too late for the big story, though. So I've heard. But I'm not a reporter, and, and that's not why I'm here. Well, not directly, anyway. I see. Well, this sounds interesting. My eight-year-old niece has been missing for months. I'm trying to find some information about Rustin Pa. Well, you came to the right place. I can give you the morning edition. It'll bring you up to date. Oh, that would be wonderful. You seem awfully busy. You've broken the big story, haven't you? Oh, <laughs> already wrapped that. I'm on to a bigger one. <laughs> this town ain't seen nothing yet. Is there anything else you can tell me about, Pa? Well, I could, but... Well, you'd probably better talk to the sheriff first. Have you met Junior? I checked there, but he's already left. <sighs> yeah, it is getting pretty late. Since Pa came down from the woods, I've been burning both ends to try and stay on top of things. Probably time to close up shop here, too. I'd try to catch the sheriff first thing in the morning. Uh, 
a current issue of the Register, Burkittsville's only paper. Ma'am, how was your first day in Burkittsville? A long one. Tomorrow will be worse, I'm afraid. I'm planning on visiting Ruston Parr's place. You realize it's a four-hour walk, right? Do you even have a map? No. Where can I get one? Hmm. Don't rightly know. The uh, general store up the street, maybe? But, well, you, you just be careful, ma'am. Those woods are plenty dangerous. Wild animals? Animals? <laughs> no, no, ma'am. Animals stay out of those woods. They know better. Sometimes animals have more sense than people. So what should I be careful of? I pray to God you don't find out. And just stay away from Tappy East Creek. That's where she lives. Who? About a hundred years ago, she reached her pale white hand out of the water and pulled a little girl into the river. They never found the body. She's still down there in the water, waiting for another victim. You're talking about the Blair Witch. Shh! You don't ever want to say that. She hears you when you say your name. Now stay away from that creek, man. For the love of God, stay away from that forest altogether. Now, good night. There's no phone in this room. Oh, how am I supposed to check in with Spook House? I'll have to talk to that innkeeper about it tomorrow. track it with my spectral proximity sensor. Hello? Anybody here? Is that the sheriff? What's he about then? Excuse me, are you a demite?
What the hell is going on here? I've never heard of Daymites this far north. This must be where pies go when they die. We see you. God, I loathe daymites. You cannot not hide.
What do you want from me? We are your dad. What have I done? I've killed all of them. <laughs> <laughs>